Hello! Welcome back! Alright, we spoke to Future Max in the last episode, now let's speak to Future Sam. Hello, Future Me. I can't shoot, Max. Apparently, all those years of adventuring have taken their toll. I can't use these things together. How goes the case, Future Me? I can't reach it. Keep up the good work. I think I'll leave him to his memories. That's a bit of a shame. Although it doesn't seem any less crazier than he is now. I think I've been and done all this, haven't I? Yes. Alright. Now where do I need to go? Aha. Uh -huh. Sam, it's my summer office! I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? This will not stand! Wait a second. 1963. 17th of September. I wonder who was president then. Things to do in Dallas. Um, I'm guessing it's JFK maybe? I just need to move the mic. JFK maybe? Was he still around then? Forgive my... Um, Lack of uh, American history. Whoever chose this lamp was taking liberties with the concept of good taste. I'm guessing they couldn't fit a television on there. A true weasel scout would keep his merit badges on him at all times. Be prepared! Be very prepared! This far in the past, I assumed the Earth was still flat. It's the official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is changing the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. Whee! The father of our country. I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with the frame. Annals of Americana. <laughs> Sorry, I am five years old. Having 50 of these pillows would make the place a lot more comfy. We could build a fort! Hi, I'm George Washington. Shove your nuts in my <laughs> mouth and I'll crack them. Please don't make fun of nuts. If I remember my history correctly, today's the day of the pivotal rap peace accords. We'd better not disturb them. Hi there, random secret service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Superball. Superball? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before. And there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. <laughs> oh, Superball! I get it! Um... Super Bowl is still looking good for his age in the future. Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. And when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. We are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam. Our mission is clear. Nuke the commie bastard! I think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. What do you think of the president? He's the greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. Heard any good gossip about the president? Extra toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants, stuff like that. The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. There's going to be a few mini cuts in here. I'm having some monitor problems. 
Heard any good gossip about the president? The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. How long have you been working for the White House? Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all you do? Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. That's a lot of work for one man. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We'd like a tour of the office. Very well, sir. That's a desk. There's a couch. Another couch is there. A calendar. Some pictures. The door you see behind me is 100% Northwestern White Pine with an interior flat jam in. That's plenty, thanks. Well, it was free, after all. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? It's for a baby crib that rocks itself, using a motor powered by angry bees. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest... Very well. It's a formula for cat litter that explodes when it comes into contact with <laughs> urine. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. We want... It's a perpetual motion engine driven by racial tension. That's clever, sir. I... We want exclusive rights to produce... Very well. We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Quiescently frozen wombat guano. I can't issue you a patent, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. Oh, come on! How could you possibly know that? I'm a government official, sir. I know these things. I'll need to know the unique ingredient to issue you a patent. Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? A sort of career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. We came here from the far-off future. Aren't you amazed and surprised? Isn't that shocking? I've seen a lot of things, sir. It takes a lot to shock me. Oh, really? I bet we could surprise you. Can't be done, sir. I'm imperturbable. We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. Really? Yes. Surprised that you try that one again. It never works. We've tried it before? We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. We come from the beginning of the 21st century. In the future, television is delivered through thick cables instead of being sent through the air. Does that not blow your ever-loving mind? Not really, sir. I'm not easily startled. We're your new sons. And we want to live in your house! And raise my children of questionable parentage! And we're both axe murderers. And I'm voting for Barry Goldwater! Nothing? It's like I said, sir. I'm not startled easily. All right, we give up. The man's a rock, Sam. Nice try, sirs. I almost felt my pulse rate increase there. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Hey, Super Bowl, would you mind spitting on this? It's for a science project. Can't, sir. I never spit, unless I'm startled or under extreme distress. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your... <laughs> and a donkey. Love. The Prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's diner. Stinky's?! I can't believe the president would eat at Stinky's. I've lost all respect for the man.
according to that letter, this isn't the only thing the president left. <laughs> Should be plenty of DNA-rich spit left on this envelope. The president's a very thorough liquor. Yeah, okay. Talk to Max in the office and in the intergalactic police, but we will be returning there later on. So there's not too much to worry about. Right, now we need to find out who is Bosco's father. Time stream's been altered again. <laughs> Hello, fool. Mr. President Fool. Hmm. I suspect we got the wrong dad, Max. Oh dear. Alright, so let's change the... ...system settings. What are my options? My personality can be configured. I'm pretty sure it was suggestive it was in. Suggestive? Good choice. Because originally I had it set to... Passive-aggressive? So long. I'll see you later. So, Bosco, are you feeling like yourself? Of course, sir. Never better. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll get you back to normal. Thank you, fool. I suggest you hurry. Ugh. Even when he's riding us, he's too polite. It's unnerving! Can't you give us any more details on your father? It's straightforward enough, fool. I was a test tube baby. First in the country. No idea who'd make a spit donation to your mom? No more cracks about my mama, Mr. President, or I'll have to ask you to step outside. How's life as a paradox treating you, Bosco? I'd prefer it if I'd been born, sir. Please repair the time stream at your earliest convenience. Do you remember any of your mom's biggest turnoffs in a man? Hard to narrow it down, sir. She was always very contrary. We'll see you around, Bosco. So is this Super Bosco or Bosco Ball? Well, the time... the time... The voice change on the elevator on the computer won't last too long, unfortunately. Okay, I messed up quite severely. Right, um, I kind of ended here a little bit too premature because I clicked on the bulletin board. But I forgot to click on the poster, so my time framing is completely out of whack. So if I go over or under, I apologise now. But anyway, I needed to do this before I went to the office, and I didn't, so I'm an idiot. It says stinky stick tight adhesive, based on an old family recipe, with secret ingredient vitamin 13. And I just realised I've missed out a couple of lines of dialogue because I actually clicked on the poster to find out if that's what I needed to see. I am a complete knob, but it's done. Let's continue on. I need to go back to the Oval Office.
We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Bitumen 13. Very well. That seems to check out. That patent grants you exclusive rights to make, market, and improve on your invention. This must be just what Thomas Edison felt like. Minus the stealing and time travel, of course. Oh, Sam, you're so naive. Right. Yeah, I was kind of thrown a little bit by my notes on getting the form and then it not working, then carrying on and then realizing. We have to insist that you cease and desist all future production of gooey molasses tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. We're not angry at you for stealing from us. Just very, very disappointed. Poppycock! That recipe's been in my family for centuries. The U.S. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. The U.S. Patent Office can f my s pus filled p Actually, I don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction. Fine, I'll throw it out. Time stream altered. So, this is where we get to have some fun with Bluster Blaster. And I will definitely show off all the options. Nothing doing. Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. Whatever, kid. This is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. That shot left my defenses <laughs> wide open. This game is really digging me, Sam. I may never stop playing. Begin docking procedure. Ew, gag me. I'll change it back. Oh, Mr. Doc! But you'll do better next time. That's better. Um... Thank you for that suggestion. Why don't you kids go outside and play? Why would I go outside when my best friend's in here? Gee, Max. Oh yeah, Sam's here too. You're radical! There's lots of neat stuff about girls. You'll realize once you take that first step to adulthood. Eh, why bother? I've got everything I need right here. You're the best! Just say no, little buddy. Word up! Right. Let's do this. What are my options? My personnel, please. Passive ag- So long. Fine. Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. Fine. Shoot all the bad guys. I'll just have to make more, but no problem. Bitchin'! You made the game even friendlier! The personality matrix is rejecting the new programming. I'll change it back. Nice try! You almost hit it! That's better! Okay, we don't have... I was hoping to have more. But... Anyway. Right. Let's do this. Abusive. Done. Jack. So long. Get lost, failure. And so begins the birth of the real Bluster Blaster. Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. Game, Sam? Nuh uh, I made it better. Go back to your name, Grandma! This like totally blows now. Let's go to that dance and make the moves on some chicks. 
but I was going to Penn Station to pick up some power converters. Beat it, nerds! Make sure you check out the snack table, little me. If I remember correctly, the pigs in blankets were decadent. Time stream altered. Jackass. So, Max, feel any different? I feel like it's been too long since the Maxinator taught a lady what sweet, sweet love is all about. Let's motor so we can pick up some primo early 80s tale, bruh. Um... The place is kind of empty without us in here. He may be a soulless grandpa murderer, but you gotta admit, girls think he's got more flair with the knickknacks. Let's leave a note for ourselves in the future. I've been teaching the various cultures and strains growing underneath the counter to spell out my name. Smell you later, homeboy. Totally! Oh, hello, Miss B. Did it get freaky sexy in here, or is it just you? What'd you do to my Max? The better question is, what is your Max gonna do to you? All. Night. Long. Don't look at me, Miss Bosco. He's been like this ever since we were kids. Why don't we ditch the pooch so you can give me a special tour of the store? I've been wanting to see what you've got round back. <laughs> I thought you were different, Max. That does it. I'm done with all of you. Men. Temporal anomaly corrected. Jackass. Bye, Miss B. Okay, I suppose it can change the personality, because the only way it changes in Bluster Blaster is with this portable AI. So I will go and do that now. Looks like we did a pretty good job patching up that cigarette burn on the fabric of reality. Yeah, that's right, ladies. Come on up and give Daddy Max Time Fixer some sugar. You're a lovably lecherous tool, Max. Who are you? Did oh, I'm an idiot. Wait a second. Where's the crew? They're away talking to people who aren't idiots. Which means they're... How do we use right, it? Okay, um, we are stuck on abusive. So long. Get lost, failure. Sorry, buddy. How are we going to get off this spaceship? Hadn't given it much thought, sir. Don't you care about T H E M coming back to kill you? Not really, sir. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I don't like Bosco like this, Max. We've got to get him back to his paranoid self. We'll see you around, Bosco. Right, I just remembered I need to go back to Mama Bosco's. I'm wasting a lot of time today. Because the notes I was making, for some reason, didn't mention to take the president sample, president's sample, until much later on. And I realize I've already done that.
time stream altered. Jackass. his old gruesome self. Took you fools long enough. There, Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess with T-H-E-L. Dangerous? All that stuff we just fixed was your fault. Shut up! All right, let's go home. How do we get out of here? Ah! They know we're here! Relax, Bosco. You're gonna have a coronary. Yeah, they're probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of weed. Well, you two go first! Crossing 98% complete. Prepare to deliver on my mark. <gasps> it's... it's T-H-E-M! Oh, benvenidos, amigos. What are you guys doing here? We can explain everything, weakly and simply. No, that is not our way. suck. Crouching. So, as I was saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for 1,000 years straight. Help me, Sam and Max! 